All right, nice. We get a epic Koth game. I think my win rate on Koth might be 100%. It's pretty close. Koth is like the mode where DPS can have the most impact, in my opinion. On well, I'm gonna go Genji on well. Pretty good Genji map. We have Ana Lucio. Makes me want to play Genji. If we're real charge, we would go Sim. Honestly, I don't even want to do the Sim because people don't even know what they're doing at this rank and they don't take the TP. <laughs> do I keep my VODs up for a while? Yeah, I just leave them on the stock. I think it's like 60 days or 30 days. Something like that. I also have a lot of uh, videos up on my YouTube channel. If you want to watch more, check out my YouTube. Brig. I wasn't ready for her, man. That's why everyone hates Brig, dude. The hero's just fucking... You just get insta-stunned, man. I'm trying to make a cool play with my deflect, and I'm just insta-stunned by something with no counter. Like, the counter to Brig is play boring. It's not that there's no counter to Brig, it's just the, the correct answer is just don't go in. Just chill and poke the enemy without committing. Which is just not fun. Oh, God. Like, don't go in. What am I doing, Jake? I went in. I should have just sat back and spam left clicks for 10 seconds. I'm not even following my own advice. I got whipshot, baby. I want to kill this. Use your bash. You're dead now. <laughs> Luckily, we have a broken hero in Orisa as to counter their brig broken hero, so should be fine. I'm just waiting. I don't want to show my face because I have blade, and if the enemy sees where I'm coming from. My life gets hard. <laughs> Tragedy. Why is Arissa broken? She's just very powerful and very easy to execute. Gonna play back here and like the high noon. We want to be far enough from the pit that we don't get booped in by the Lucio or someone doing some rollout on me. How's the ball not dead? Because he got his shield off before the high noon hit. So the high noon shows a skull because he has 600 HP or whatever, but then he gets his shield off before the actual bullet connects. So that happens anytime somebody gets healed. In this is a lag time between like the high noon locking with skull and then you actually shooting. You could also just continue to charge more after the skull, which theoretically is what I should have done. Um, I'm gonna go dive. Actually, we have a full dive comp here. I'm gonna play dive. This is actually a proper comp. One of like maybe the second or third times I've had a proper comp in this challenge. Like an actual optimal comp where you none of the heroes are stupid. Does that make no sense? You want to sneak up on this widow because they're playing widow. I want to take poke from his Genji because his break can just pack him, so... Brig's low, we force a nade out, it's pretty valuable. This guy went a little early on... On um, Winston, I should say, because the nade was still on, but it's alright. It's not problematically early. Huge pickup, that Widow dying late is very good for us basically resets them again and it allows us to have a more aggressive poking phase on the spawn because the only hero which punishes the poking phase really is the Widow. He's on Hanzo now. I mean, I think that pick's pretty bad. 
I think both of those picks are bad. You should be on Torb or Tracer or... Like, they can mirror dive or they can play anti-dive. So it's like, Torb actually would maybe be the pick here. We're playing this nice poking phase here. This is really well played by my team, actually. Like, no one's getting caught. I'm just trying to charge ults. Oh, we needed somebody else. Fuck, bro. We won this way. Well, it's okay. We can do Rally Blade anyway. We're gonna kind of play this like a Rhine with our Blade, which means we want to like play it inside of support abilities, like inside the Winston Bubble, inside the Diva Matrix. We're not gonna go for like a Yolo Blade that dives the back line unless somebody's super alone, like a Hanzo. Now they're on McCree, that's better, so we're gonna be more cautious. I wanna like let my team start this fight, really. Like, Blade is not the key ultimate here. Yeah, not much I can do there. The Nano onto the Sigma really screwed my Blade because I couldn't get the reset, but we forced a lot from them, it's not the end of the world. They're on a very good anti-dive comp. We're actually gonna stay Genji. I mean, it's kind of bad. To, I mean, we don't really lose anything, but we're gonna stay Genji because we only need to win. Even though their comp's pretty good against Genji, we really only need one fight win, and we kept Primal, which is good. So we have a way into the next fight. Our goal is, I mean, winning the next fight is obviously very good, but our real goal is to win the next, the fight after the next fight. So our game plan, like I'm gonna let my team do whatever they want. I'll maybe help on a die, but I don't want to commit on anything that isn't farming me ult. Literally the only thing that matters to me. Like I hook so I can be a lot more aggressive on farming him now. Uh, the Genji got one, but he died for it. It's not that bad. As long as I get some ult farm here. Best thing I can do is take his pack. This guy uses dash so we can one shot him. It's the power of audio as well that I know the Mara used her fade because I heard her fade in. So that means I can just commit hard with the blade there instead of waiting for more teammates.